What is going on everyone? My name is Triforce Addiction and on this video I'm going to talk about a recent update that actually came out for the Nintendo Switch. Um, it is actually, I think, I believe, update... Uh, where's the update settings? Shit. Okay, here it is. So, no, 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 sorry. <laughs> here it is. Uh, it's version 9.0.0. So this was, I think, released today, I believe. So we're actually get into depth of what is actually new with this new Nintendo Switch update. So the first thing that a lot of people were talking about is actually the friends list. So now you are able to receive invites from friends from certain games that are actually compatible with this feature, such as let's say if someone wants to 1v1 you cause you're cause they think you're not good at Smash. They could just send you an invite, you could just go onto the game immediately. Or um, for me, this is one that I actually, this is an example that, that actually hits close to home with me. So whenever I want to play online with a friend of mine in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, usually you would have to go to the friends page of the online feature in that game and join up on them, which kind of sucks because there's no way to really invite people. So now this, I'm pretty sure this feature is actually going to remedy this situation. So yeah, basically you get online play invites from pretty much any game that has a Nintendo Switch Online. I think even Fortnite might have it, so that's a cool thing. You might get a notification on the top left corner talking, telling you that you know you could go on the game if you want. Uh, you could update it if uh, if your friends send you an invite and you're just like, oh, I didn't get it, just press Y to update it. So yeah, that's pretty cool. So another feature that came out. All right, let's 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 actually talk about this. Oh, it was actually on the news section. So. Now, if you're a guy that looks at the news right here, I'm not really one of those people who does that because they pretty much tell you stuff that you already know, like Overwatch or freaking Minecraft. I mean, like, dude, like, how how does no one not how does anyone like not know how to explore a mine, right? You know, it's really stupid. But anyways, they added a feature called Find Channels. You could find channels right here on the side, uh, depending on what game you want to see. Like, if you want to see Super Kirby Class Channel, uh, you could put that on, or if you want to search specifically, let, let's say, uh, for let's say for example, Zelda, let's try that. I oh, God, what's wrong with me? I'm, I suck at spelling. I, I'm just I'm so used to typing on the Xbox. It's so much different. I keep forgetting that B is the one that actually you delete because when you go on the Xbox, it's Y. So, you know. All right, so you press on Zelda. So they have one for Breath of the Wild. You know, you press on it. And, you know, you could just check, you could actually follow it or go to software information if you actually are interested in buying the game. So, yeah, that is pretty cool. Uh, let's see what other features came out. So, in system settings, they have this option for, for I guess, I believe uh, it's a stylus setting. I don't know where it is. Hold on. Uh, let's see where I could find it. They have it somewhere. I think it's controller and sensors. Uh, there we go. Uh, it's touchscreen sensitivity. So this, what this does is that you either have this one, the standard, where you could just tap this touchscreen with your finger, or you could use a stylus. So of course you could buy a stylus from GameStop or anywhere else, or you, you can even get one of those pens that have like a soft, uh, like that soft point. So you could just use it as a stylus. You know, you know what I'm talking about, guys. You know what I'm talking about. So yeah, you could either switch to that, or you know, just keep it standard. You know, it depends on what you like. Let's see what else has changed. I believe there's another one. Um, I think it goes on accounts, though. Uh, let's see. You go to users, I believe. No, 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 no. Sorry, sorry, guys. Sorry, I suck at this shit. I think it's user settings. You see, here we go. Here we go. This is this is the feature that I was talking about. So, display QR code to check in. So basically, what this means is that, I guess, in a way. Like if you go to uh, like a Nintendo related event, like such as E3 or Gamescom or some shit like that, uh, you're going to be able to scan your QR code. And let me see. Let's see if it does. That. You see right here. This is my QR code. I don't even know what this means. So basically you could check in anywhere and I guess this will benefit you in some way. I'm not sure. Uh, maybe it's something that's going to be more usable in the future. But, you, you know, I don't know. So I think we have to go back to settings because I think there is one more feature that we do have to discuss. And this is, has to do with, I believe, the for the Nintendo Switch Lite. I'm not going to buy it, so don't expect an in, 
uh, I kind of need to save money right now, so don't expect like any sort of uh, you know thing. Okay, I believe it's somewhere here. Okay, so let, where the hell is it? System, nope. Okay, no. Well, they have a zoom feature. I didn't even know that. Okay. Uh, it's somewhere here, I believe. If I can't find it, I'll just explain it to you. Let's see. Uh, where the hell is it? I don't think they have it here. Okay, so uh, I couldn't find it for shit. So basically this feature is going to pertain to the Nintendo Switch Lite. So basically if you ever want to like if you ever want to connect a controller like a let's say a, a Nintendo Switch Pro controller to the Nintendo Switch Lite, like let's say you have a stand you you're, you want to play Breath of the Wild that way for some reason cuz you're a weirdo like me. Um whenever you tap a button on the actual console since it is since there's no joy cons on the switch light uh let's say someone's messing with you and just presses a random button on your switch just to like fuck with you because you know you I, i've had people like that you know like you're playing your wii game and like your brother just comes in and just <laughs> real quick it just turns like just turns off the wii in the middle of the perfect run but you know i'm just you know i'm just trying to cool down you know but anyways, yeah, um, there's a setting that you can actually enable that actually lets you turn that off. So basically, whenever they try to press a button, nothing happens. Like, it won't obstruct your gameplay. So, yeah. But, so that is basically it for today's uh, Nintendo Switch update. So I hope you guys like this video. Make sure to comment, subscribe. My name is Triforce Addiction. I'll see you soon. Thank you for watching.